Before embarking on our unit on close reading, we spent some time teaching students how to distinguish between different kinds of journalism. This is especially important for students who consume the vast majority of their media through online sources, and they don't understand the parts of newspaper publications. So we spent some time on that, and then we assess their learning from that lesson using mobile technology and an online tool called Socrative. And for the most part, they use their own phones, but we do provide um, library iPods if they need those. And then what we do is we present them with four articles on the very same topic, but one is op-ed, one is news reporting, one is an editorial, and one is a blog. And we don't tell them which is a difference. And in fact, we, we subjugate their um, the, the layouts so that the students don't really have all the visual clues that they're used to when they look at these print these these sources online so we get them from the databases and they all look pretty much the same they're just simple PDFs but they are different kinds of journalism and it then what we do is we sort of embed almost footnotey style we highlight parts of the text and we embed a footnote and then we have questions that are related to the actual use of language in the writing to help them elicit from the text whether what category it fits whether it's a blog or an editorial or an op-ed piece or if it's just straight up news journalism and then we assess them uh, within the same lesson. We can we we the, the, the basically as they are working through this, they're getting their own immediate feedback as they're completing the, the the exercise in class. So we use Socrative again as a tool, and then what that does is it allows us to monitor their progress as they're working on through through the lesson, and then the teacher gets a report and students get individual reports with the correct and false answers afterwards. And really, the, the beauty of this is that, you know, we can really, in the most immediate sense, inform our teaching and personalized instruction, but also um, we can also adapt our teaching to the whole class, and we can just go out and grab the students who really need a little bit more support or want a little bit more guidance, and we can do that.